my talk uh, will be focused on the impact of pandemic and the cybercrime uh, landscape. Um, cybercriminal prey and the opportunity to take advantage of this surreal, it's really a surreal situation and focus even more on cybercriminal activities. Try to deal with my presentation, so sorry. Um, cyber criminals have been among the most adept of exploiting uh, the COVID-19 pandemic for the various scams and attacks they carry out. Uh, it's very common. With a record number of potential victims staying at home and using online services across the world during the pandemic, the way for cyber criminals seeking to exploit emerging opportunities and vulnerabilities have for sure, multiplied. Uh, we are in uh, in cyber attack sprint and in wave of misinformation. It's really a surreal situation because we are in cyber attack sprint and a wave of misinformation. I think it's a big point to, at this time. Cyber criminals show a strong agility. If we look at how they do their work at this time. They are very agile and they know who they can learn about our behavior at this time and they are learning. It's not only for the spring, for the spring at this time, it's not for the summer, it's not for this year, but it's for the 10 next year. We are fighting against two invisible enemies. Yes, because we have the virus on our physical area and we have some cyber crime and misinformation on all the things in our cyberspace. So it's very difficult for our brain to understand what is going now. So just to make a parallel with uh, the physical virus, we can show on the screen that our body is also um, shot by this kind of things. Our brain uh, understands cyber attack like something very, very hard in uh, uh, when we have a visual uh, part. Our ears and a lot of things because we have audio, we have a lot of things. Voice is very important too. And our emotion is very, very strange at this time. I make some lot of experiences in the NGO and in other um, area, in other communities, and I can see some pattern now about this. What is going now? We know that the impact of COVID on cybercrime has been the most visible and striking compared to the other criminal activities. Cybercriminals have been able to adapt quickly and capitalize on the anxiety and the fears of their victims. Ransomware has been some of the most dominant cybercrime traits over the last several years. It's not it's not new. The current crisis is unlikely to, to change that dynamic. The pandemic may multiply the damaging impact of a successful attack against certain institutions like government, hospital, which reinforces the necessity for effective cyber resilience. The number of phishing attempts exploiting the crisis is expected to continue to increase. Now on the screen, you can see um, a chart of this uh, of today, and uh, we can see the, the number uh, of reports in the last day, in the last week, and in the last month. It's really incredible that at the end of April, cyber criminal learned and now try to exploit what they capture about us, about citizen, about government, about humans. However, we also expect a greater number of inexperienced cyber criminal to deploy ransomware as a service. So it's, it's really easy to, to, to put that off. Not all of this campaign will result in successful attack due to the lack of experience 
and technical skills of these criminals. Phishing and ransomware campaigns are being launched to exploit the current crisis and are expected to continue to increase in scope and scales and DDoS to activity around the distribution of child uh, sexual uh, exploitation material online, I come back here, um, are very increased. It's, it's a big problem. It's a big thing at this time. The dark web continue to host various platforms such uh, as Marketplace. Uh, we show at the beginning of the crisis a big uh, highlight uh, on this, but now it's, uh, it seems to be stabilized. Vendor attempt to in innovate by offering COVID-related product or something like that, but uh, it seems like, uh, like ever. Many attacks on critical health infrastructure happened. It's a very uh, strange time, so it's normal. Cyber criminal carry out a cyber attack, for example, on Borneo University Hospital in Cheka. Since a state of emergency was declared in, in Cheka in March, the attack uh, was considered an attack on a critical infrastructure. The incident pointed to the hospital to postpone urgent surgency and reroute new accurate patient to a nearby alternative hospital. The hospital was forced to shut down its entire uh, IT network, entire. During the incident on two of the hospital other branches, the children's hospital and the maternity hospital were also affected. This type, this type of uh, attack during the public health crisis, such as pandemic, are particularly threatening and carry very real risk to, um, to human rights, lives. Uh, falsehoods about the virus are spreading widely on the Facebook messaging, on app, on other things, uh, like WhatsApp. Uh, I think it's very interesting to study it because maybe it's not uh, only a one time uh, now, we will have, uh, I think, other crises and we need to be ready. For example, Poland, here, Poland was hit by a wave of rumor about the government introducing zoning to cities and cutting off transportation to Warsaw. One audio message recorded by a man who claimed he had a journalist friend with close ties to political decision makers. The president will introduce an emergency state and that people would be able to leave their, their house for three weeks. Another case is in France and in Switzerland too. Users forwarded some on audio message of a woman who said that she has a very, very, very well-placed uncle with ties to Nata to national minister or something like that from who she's got information that the whole country would soon be in very counting. In Portugal, a widely circulated voice message to uh, suggest that information on the number of infected people in the country was downplayed by um, official sources with a man saying, forget the number the television is talking about. There are thousands of infected people confirmed. In Ireland, some kind of pattern. This message are scaring and confusing people and causing real damage. I want to make a short aparte and I show you the WhatsApp message that uh, I collected because since the beginning of the crisis, uh, I collected a lot of, lot of fake news disinformation to analyze them. And I have something to, to say about that because we never know if it's for harm or, or fun because at this time it's very difficult to, to be fun, to, 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 to make things with humor. And it's the first time that the 1st April was quick, some sort like this. It's an emergency and we really need to work on, on this kind of thing. Here you can see the fake of um, or things are arrive in, uh, in France. It's a fake map of the, the day after. 
And we can see with the timeline of the crisis that uh, we have uh, on the beginning of the, of the crisis, some, uh, some audio message, uh, some pictures, some things like that. And after some more uh, creative things like this map. Um, I want uh, to say another thing about this, that without humor, our intelligence is not um, to put, to test uh, the, um, uh, is not to put uh, the test without seriousness. To live in harmony, we need humor. For our mental health, humor is essential. The lack of digital trust at this time, the ambient blur of the landscapes, the internet is leading us down a dangerous road. There is an urgent need to provide benchmarks to mitigate misinformation. Just another aparte about contact tracing because we work on it since one month in the NGO now with a task force about it. Just want to, to launch the, the discussion about uh, there is uh, 23 countries now who, um, who, you, who introduced the, it. it. Uh, nine countries have used it. Uh, Twelve government um, has been imposed it, and uh, internet shuts down uh, in in uh, four countries uh, despite the outbreak. So, I think without trust, there is no society uh, on the internet. We need to learn together our own cyber civism. Thank you. <laughs>